After the fall of France in June 1940, Britain knew it was only a matter of time before the Axis powers turned their sights across the English Channel. Then, on July 10, 1940, the German Luftwaffe began the first in a long series of bombing raids in what Winston Churchill first called the Battle of Britain. The Battle of France is over. The Battle of Britain is about to begin. The Nazis wanted to invade England, the last obstacle to total dominance over Western Europe. But first, they needed to destroy the Royal Air Force. The air campaign that followed was the first of its kind to be fought entirely by air forces. The Luftwaffe began the campaign attacking coastal shipping convoys and shipping centers. Then they shifted the attacks to Royal Air Force airfields, factories, and infrastructure before finally resorting to attacking British towns and cities. Although Britain had far fewer fighter pilots than the Germans, their pilots were well-trained and well-motivated to defend the islands against the Nazi onslaught. Churchill would describe the heroic efforts of the RAF in a speech he gave on August 20th, 1940. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. The campaign of terror would last for three and a half months, but the English people sent a clear message to Hitler. Britain was never going to surrender. The Battle of Britain would mark the first major defeat of Hitler's forces in World War II. And now we know. And knowing is half the battle.